Today's lesson is called Polly the Honeybee's Flower Tour. Remember, plants have many different parts. They have roots, stems, branches, leaves, flowers, and seeds. In today's lesson, you are going to learn more about flowers. Many animals like flowers, like people do. Today, you're going to get a chance to listen to a special guest, Polly the honeybee, and Polly loves flowers. But before we start, let's go over some vocabulary. Our first word is honey. Say honey. Honey is a sweet, sticky food made by bees from the nectar of flowers. Nectar. Say nectar. Nectar is a sweet liquid found in flowers that bees and some birds collect. Petals. Say petals. Petals are the colored outer parts of the flower. Pollen. Say pollen. Pollen is a fine yellowish powder found in the center of flowers. And our last word is pollination. Say pollination. Pollination is when pollen from one flower lands on another flower and the second flower makes seeds. Polly the honeybee's flower tour. I want you to listen carefully to learn about how Polly and her honeybee friends help flowers. Hello, my name is Polly and I'm a honeybee. I live in a beehive in a meadow not too far from here. A meadow is a flat area of land that is usually covered with grass and flowers. Your teacher asked me to come here today to tell you more about flowers, my favorite part of plants. As you have learned, Flowers contain seeds, and seeds can grow into new plants. I am delighted to come and tell you about flowers, because flowers are one of my favorite things in the whole world. The meadow near my beehive is full of all different kinds of flowers that come in many different colors. Earlier today, I visited a particularly delicious yellow flower. Come along and I'll show it to you. Here's the flower I was telling you about. Do you see this ring of bright yellow parts around the flower? Those are called petals. The petals look like brightly colored leaves. The petals are the parts of the flower that grab my attention when I am out buzzing around. Once I see a pretty flower, my favorite thing to do is crawl inside the petals into the center of the flower. What's it like to crawl inside a flower like this? Imagine for a minute that you are crawling under the bright yellow blankets of a very comfortable bed. Bright yellow is all around you. Now imagine that you stay under the blankets drinking the world's tastiest drink through a straw. You are so happy that you wriggle around and you get covered with a yellow powder that smells great and feels good against your skin. That's what it's like for me when I visit a flower. As far as I'm concerned, the world's tastiest drink is called nectar, which is a sweet juice that plants make. And the yellow powder that I like to rub up against is called pollen. I find both nectar and pollen inside flowers, and frankly, I'm not sure which one I like better. I visit more than 50 flowers in one outing, sometimes as many as a hundred. I visit these flowers because we bees get our food from flowers. My job is to fly around and find nectar and pollen, which I gather up and take back to my hive. I have a special pouch inside my body that holds nectar, and there are special hairs on my back legs that form a little basket that I brush pollen into. When it's time to go back to my hive, 
Sometimes my load of pollen and nectar weighs half as much as I do. When I get back to the hive, I turn the nectar and pollen over to the worker bees in the hive. They mix the pollen with a little bit of nectar and feed it to the baby bees. Then they fan the rest of the nectar with their wings until most of the water is gone. Nectar, with most of the water gone, turns into something that both bees and people love. What do you think happens when they fan the water out of the nectar? What does that turn into that people love? Let's see if you're right. Nectar, with most of the water removed, is called honey. Here's the honey in my hive. People use honey to sweeten their food, but we bees use honey for food. We keep it in a bunch of little cubbies that we call the honeycomb. I visit flowers to get food, and that's reason enough for me, but it turns out that I am also doing something else besides finding food for myself and the other bees. I am helping the plants reproduce or make more plants. In order to make a seed that can develop into a new plant, most plants need to mix pollen from their own flowers with pollen from other plants that are like them. For example, a corn plant needs pollen from another corn plant to allow it to make seeds. When pollen from one corn plant lands on another corn plant, something called pollination takes place. Pollination is when pollen from one flower mixes with the pollen of another flower so the plant can make seeds. Say pollination. Pollination is really important because if it doesn't happen, the plant won't be able to make any seeds. If there are no seeds, then there will be no new plants. How do plants get pollen from other plants? Plants can't walk around like human beings, and they can't flap their wings and fly like us bees either. Luckily, the pollen grains themselves are very small. They can be blown from one plant to another by the wind. So the wind helps pollinate plants so they can make new plants. But bees, like me, also help pollinate plants. How do my trips from one plant to another help pollinate plants? When I visit a flower and roll around inside, I pick up a lot of pollen. When I fly on to the next flower, I carry some pollen from other flowers with me, and some of it rubs off on the next flower I visit. That's why I am an excellent pollinator of plants, and that is why they call me Polly the Pollinator. I don't like to brag, but we bees are the most important pollinators in the world. Oh, sure, the wind helps pollinate, and some other insects also carry grains of pollen from one plant to another as they feed. Butterflies do it. So do moths, beetles, and wasps. Some birds, like hummingbirds, are also good pollinators. Bats are good pollinators, too. But no other creature pollinates as many flowers as bees do. Wow, usually we're scared of bees because we, they can sting us and it hurts. But they actually help us to have more plants and more flowers because they help us with pollination. So the next time you see a bee, you can be scared of it, but also say thank you because they help our flowers grow. That is the end of our lesson, so go ahead and answer the questions.